and welcome to Euro Football Daily. And this is the top 10 players who didn't reach their massive potential for various reasons. 10. Giuseppe Rossi Starting off with more of a tragic story, Rossi's potential was limited through consistent injuries rather than mentality or talent. The American-born Italian came through Palmer's youth system for a massive move to Manchester United. From there, he had a couple of loan spells of varying success before eventually moving to Villarreal in 2007 for first-team football. But as soon as Rossi started to gain some consistent game time, his first big injury came along, a cruciate ligament rupture which ruled him out for 34 games. The yellow submarine moved him onto Fiorentina, but his knee ligaments once again put an end to a promising season where he netted 14 goals in just 18 Serie A games. He scored two in three on his return before another knee injury ruled him out for the entire season. At 29 years of age, hopefully there's one last hurrah for Giuseppe Rossi. Nine. Breno. From a tale of tragedy to a tale of stupidity, Breno's career in Europe was just about to kick off at Bayern Munich before he decided to set fire to his own 1.5 million euro villa. The defender came from Sao Paulo as a 20-year-old, billed with huge potential, but never flourished at the Allianz Arena. However, Breno was thought to be suffering with depression at the time, thanks to a cruciate ligament injury he picked up on loan at Nuremberg. The problem could have ended his career, and Bayern assigned the player to a psychiatrist to help him through it. But Breno was sentenced to three years and six months in prison for arson, and upon release rejoined his first club, Sao Paulo. He's still in his mid-twenties, so there's always the possibility that Breno could get his career back on track. Just keep him away from those matches. 8. Anthony van den Bora. One for the football manager aficionados across the world, Van den Bora was rated as highly as Vincent Company when he came through Anderlecht's youth system. Former Anderlecht boss Paul Van Himst called Van den Bora the biggest talent he had ever seen in his career. Maybe a bit of an over-exaggeration in hindsight, eh, Paul? During his time at Anderlecht, though, Anthony developed somewhat of a reputation off the pitch and attracted media attention for shaving AVB into the side of his head. But the fade was even sharper on the pitch, as Van den Bora left for Fiorentina before ending up at Portsmouth just two years later. It didn't get any better for the fullback, returning to Belgium twice and even playing in Ukraine for a short while. He's now moved on to Montpellier on loan in 2016, and it's hard to believe he's still only 28 years old. 7. Valery Bojanov from one football manager legend to another, Bulgarian Bozhinov did actually have some top clubs believing his hype. Coming through Lisa's youth system, he had an impressive goal-scoring record for the first team, with 19 in 71 games from the ages of 16 to just 20. This earned Bozhinov subsequent moves to Genoa, Juventus and eventually Manchester City. Unfortunately though, his time in Manchester was mostly spent on the treatment table. He suffered knee ligament damage in the Manchester derby and was out for five months. Then a year later, he was ruled out for another six months for snapping his Achilles tendon during a warm-up before City's game against Aston Villa. Bozhinov has since found some success in Serbia with Partizan, scoring 18 goals in just 31 league games in 2015-16, and he even attracted some offers from La Liga side Sporting Gijon and Rayo Vallecano. Not interested, he instead offers 500 euros to any teammate who gives him an assist. 6. Fran Merida Constant comparisons with Cesc Fabregas could hardly have helped young Spaniard Fran Merida, but at one point it genuinely looked like he could be as good as the former Arsenal captain. Just as he started breaking into the Arsenal team after several runouts in the Carling Cup, Merida rejected a contract offer to move on a free to Atletico Madrid in 2010. Despite making 17 league appearances in his first season at the Vincente Calderon, Merida was shipped out on loan to Braga, whose coach told him that the signing wasn't his decision. Confidence was at an all-time low for Merida, who said himself that he didn't even like football anymore. But after a surprise spell in Brazil and Spain's lower leagues, Fran is back in La Liga at Osasuna at the age of 26 and even scored on his debut. 5. Ismail Isati Second in world soccer's most exciting teen footballers all the way back in 2007, it seems as if Ishmael was doomed from the beginning. The 17-year-old became the youngest Dutch player to ever take part in a Champions League game and made 24 appearances for PSV in his first season. 
He then went on loan to FC Twente to develop his game and price tag further, but it all went downhill upon returning to PSV. He failed to earn the trust of the manager and his development really stagnated. The next year was supposed to be a fresh start for Arsati at Ajax, but the gods of knee injuries struck yet again and he spent his three years in Amsterdam struggling for fitness. Now plying his trade in Turkey after two poor seasons in Russia, it's safe to say that he's not lived up to the billing that World Soccer gave him, though their number one was Sadiq Adams, so maybe Arsati hasn't done too badly. 4. Anderson Despite United fans claiming that he s*** on Fabregas, we're sure Seth sleeps pretty comfortably at night, free and knowing that that was nowhere near the truth. Anderson joined Porto from Gremio at just 17 and just two years and 25 appearances later, he went to Old Trafford for around 30 million euros. Anderson though didn't have the best start to his career in Manchester as he failed to score a goal in his first two seasons. In his third year, he broke that duck but picked up a knee injury yet again not much later. It didn't get much better then onwards as a car accident followed along with another long-term knee injury. He did rack up quite the trophy cabinet though with four league titles and a Champions League medal to his name but has since returned to Brazil with Internacional. Considering he had received threats and insults from fans after losing 5-0, it's not getting much better for him over in Brazil. 3. Alexandra Pato how it all could have been so different for the Duck. At 22, he scored at the new Camp against Barcelona after just 24 seconds for AC Milan. Now though, he's 26 and trying to revive his career at Villarreal. Pato joined one of the best teams in the world in AC Milan and it all started off so brightly. The striker was consistently getting a goal every other game for the Rossonieri, but it was in 2011 when the Brazilian went on an Abu Dhabi worthy run of poor fitness, suffering 13 injuries in three years and missing an incredible 66 games in total. Pato has since blamed Milan's medical staff for trying to rush him back too quickly for the injuries but he left Italy in 2013 for Brazil before making an inexplicable move on loan to Chelsea, where he managed just two games for the club. But there is still time for him to turn it around just yet as he's at the Yellow Submarine. 2. Giovanni Dos Santos When you score a hat-trick for Barcelona, it's only natural that you get propelled into the spotlight. But Gio was a promising player even before those goals, standing out even in Barca's world-famous youth teams. But with Thierry Henry, Samuel Eto'o and Lionel Messi in front of him, there were simply no first-team minutes left for Dos Santos. It came as a bit of a shock then when Gio decided to join Tottenham Hotspur, but he managed just 33 games for Spurs across four seasons, with loan spells at Ipswich, Galatasaray and racing Santander in between. Questions over his commitment were still an issue though, as boss Harry Redknapp criticised the Mexican for frequently going on nights out and being late for training. This also followed on from the national team, as he and 12 other players got fined for a hotel party. Even after Tottenham, his career never really picked up, with spells at Mallorca and Villarreal before eventually heading stateside to LA Galaxy in 2015. Number 1. Freddie Adu. It might get a bit boring knowing that there's just one man who could top our list, but Freddie Adu was a truly explosive talent when he arrived on the scene at an unbelievable 14. Adu himself has taken full responsibility of his lacklustre career, stating that I bought it on myself because I didn't dedicate enough time to it. But he actually may have been a tad harsh on himself there as he was thrusted into the limelight at such an early age and being labelled the next Pele was never exactly going to end well. So far in his career, he's only managed to score 26 goals in just 160 games, so that's not quite Pele just yet. After a tour of 12 clubs which took him to Portugal, France, Greece, Turkey, Brazil, Serbia and Finland before making his way eventually back home to the US of A. He is now plying his trade in the North American Soccer League for Tampa Bay Rowdies at the tender age of 27. So that was our 10 of Wonder Kids who never quite made it to the top tier of world football. But who's going to make the list in the future? Let us know what you think in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out our top 10 Borussia Dortmund exports. And as always, guys, please do like and subscribe.